Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another awesome reading. Yeah, we do. We hope you guys are well, Sagittarius. And uh, yeah, we have desire here in this reading. This is Tristan and Isolde. And uh, they were lovers that really couldn't be together. And this reading could possibly, I feel like it's about somebody who wants to be with you. Yeah. Uh, it looks like at all costs, it does look like that, but there's, there's a couple of, uh, kind of, uh, bumps in the road here that we'll talk about. We will, uh, yeah, but before we begin, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. I'm a silver grad. They're accurate. They're lots of fun. And, uh, yeah, you get the tarot spread at the end, right? So now you have two different unique insights. And also, uh, if you want a free five minute psychic reading with mystic sense, I'm Mystic Gem, uh, their Mystic Sense. That link is below. Uh, if you would like a tarot reading unto itself, you may get one of those too. So let's get uh, started here. Let's get this party started, Sagittarius. And we have the fates here, right? This always cracks me up, this lady here. She's holding all the stars up, but, uh, you know, the way she's so kind of her, her body... Uh, language is so kind of stuck here that it doesn't look so natural like fates, right? It doesn't. It looks more like uh, an, uh, something that's not ergonomic or natural, right? right? Fate, uh, fate is natural. Yeah, it is. But she's holding up the stars. And this does talk about somebody who is uh, like your fate, your fate and destiny. Yeah. And so just one moment, you guys. Excuse me, that is a number eight. So uh, this is powerful, right? Eights are about power. They are, and success. We're in a power year, you guys. Try to make the best of it. Yeah, or the most of it, I should say. And we have orphaned in the reverse. So, you know, this card's not really a joke, but, you know, maybe you were at the orphanage with them, Sagittarius. Maybe, and they had a big crush on you, right? That's a I sound awful, right? Uh, but, you know, that's not even funny, right? Did you ever see that movie, uh, Lemony Snicket or whatever? Yeah, and yes, about those kids. And he burnt down their dad's house. And you go see that, right? But any, I forget the name of that movie. But anyway, uh, Jim Carrey's in it, yeah. And so, Orphaned Reverse, Edgetarius. Excuse me, this is a number five. And, you know, fives are never good. Unless you have a five-year-old at home, that's fine, right? Mm -hmm. or you have, you know, $5 million, but the number five here with, uh, orphaned reverse. Yeah. This is about something that <coughs> some type of kind of hurtful event. It can be, it could be that somebody got hurt here. And so they are afraid of maybe abandonment. Somebody's got, uh, a, or like a fear of intimacy. It may be that, right? Maybe you left them out before Sagittarius, or they left you out, right? The reading can be switched and it definitely could be mixed. Uh, but the interesting thing in the reading is that we have the illusion card. So this is about, uh, that's the moon. And this illusion card, uh, I feel like that was in the reverse. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Because, uh, yes, it was. I just turned it over to try to really kind of take a good look at it. But uh, this is about Ivan and Odette. Yeah, and so uh, this is about somebody who is afraid of uh, intimacy as well. Yeah, that's a trip in the reverse. Illusion. It can be about deception. And so let's have a look at that uh, card here, the moon or illusion. Yeah, it's about fantasies, intuition, emotion, and enchantment. But that was re reverse. So uh, that's kind of a trip. Discomfort with emotions or relationships, lack of satisfaction. I feel like somebody is in another relationship for some that, and they are not satisfied. That is a possibility here. Uh, and this person, they, or they could be afraid that you may not be satisfied with them. That could be the case here, Sagittarius. Yeah, it could. Now, you know, as Tristan and Isolde were lovers, but they were from different villages. I feel like they were both Scots too. I just, that's the part. Yeah. I feel like they were, but kind of like different tribes. And so anyway, uh, at the end though, he died and she, you know, told her father, I'm going to be with Tristan anyway. So, you know, kind of go, you know, go, go jump off the cliff or whatever, you know, uh, she told her dad, but 
uh, her dad was like a king or, you know, the ruler of a certain tribe. And so anyway, uh, he was kind of fighting against her tribe and they were going to be together, but he died in the end. And this is the lovers, uh, although they have it as a number seven, which is, you know, interesting, but it is desire. Uh, and this is, I feel like there's too much kind of, uh, disconnect here in this reading with this orphaned and this, uh, moon, the illusion reversed. This sounds like it's about a breakup Sagittarius, or maybe somebody who wanted to be with you in the past. It's possible they were afraid of this intimacy. You may have been afraid of them. Yeah. We're, you know, we're not really sure here. Uh, but we have the ace of coins and that is what is wanted here. Yes, a brand new beginning, a stable new beginning, uh, as that is the Ace of uh, Pentacles, right? And uh, the Ace of Money, basically, or resources, uh, can be values, too. Uh, there's definitely that somebody is valuing you here. This is about fertility, growth, and prosperity, the beginning of a new phase filled with good fortune. All right, bring it on. Attainment of material goals contentment in personal life. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? I feel like it is, right? It's what everybody really wants. Contentment in their personal life, uh, and in their professional life, right? Yeah. Nobody wants to go to the office and, you know, there's somebody there who is just not so nice, right? You're like, Oh God. Right. So let's see what we have Sagittarius and let's get some cards for you guys. And these have already been shuffled. They have, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut them. Bottom of the deck, two of swords and the queen of wands. See, somebody, this is like afraid kind of. It, it's either afraid or this person feels like you are super fated, like you are the fate and destiny. So the two of uh, swords can just be like, well, and she gave her swords to them. Like you fight it out kind of like it's kind of out of my hands. This applies that this implies that somebody wants to come forward and it's almost like they have no choice because you're fated to be with them. Like, well, I got to go be with Sagittarius, uh, my fate and my fate is calling. I'm pretty sure that that's what that is about. It's showing up with the queen of wands and the three of cups. Yeah. This is about a reconciliation. Uh, somebody thinks you're, you're it Sagittarius. Yeah. When we talk about, uh, eternal love for sure. The two of wands starts the reading and now we have the sun. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. We are, because it's always a little bit more fun. I feel like it is. Ace of Swords. Well, we'll see how time, if time permitting. Wheel of Fortune reversed. The Hanged Man. We have three majors here and an Ace. Wow. Eight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. Yeah. So there's completions here. We see this right here with these two tens. These are endings. Yeah. And that orphaned card talks about some type of an ending, whether or not that has happened or it's not going to happen to you, Sagittarius, because this is about somebody who loves you, but there could be some type of external ending here. They're possibly, uh, where somebody's like not satisfied in their own relationship. Yeah. And you know, this could be like, uh, this can also be Sagittarius that this person is with somebody else for some, for a few, some. And they're not satisfied there, but they're afraid of you. Yeah. I can understand that uh, about, you know, some, I mean, uh, that's not a, a, a dig. No, it's not. It's just that sometimes Sagittarians come across as so dynamic or outspoken that, you know, it could scare people a little bit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Walter used to say, the Puerto Rican astrologer, Sagittario uh, in Spanish, right? Your, your tongue. Uh, cuts like a knife, right? And ouch, right? Yeah. So let's see what we have. Uh, and that's going to depend on your ascendant and all that stuff, right? It definitely, definitely does. And, uh, mm -hmm. so why do we have the two of wands? Ten of swords twice in the reading, definitely an ending. The ten of swords sits in the challenge here with the sun. Wow. Page of Wands, clarifying the hangman, seven of eight of swords and the two of eight of 
wands, I beg your pardon, and the two of swords clarifies it. And the high priestess is here. We have the hangman in the reading, uh, a lot of Piscean energy here, uh, potentially Scorpio as well. And let's see what else we have. Okay. Yeah, somebody rejects something in this reading. It's showing up here. Here he is pouring the cup out. Uh, and it is part of a, it's part of a desire here. It's what somebody wants to do. Uh, maybe for you, Sagittarius, because we have the Knight of Wands with it, and that can be you. Uh, this is definitely taking action and kind of rejecting something else. And I feel like it has to do with this illusion. Like somebody could be, your person, I believe, is for some, if the ones who are, if they're with somebody else, that person knows that they've been lying to themselves, that they don't really love that person, that you are the one who is fated with this card here. Yeah, you are. You are the fated one, Sagittarius. Yeah, and I don't mean Eugene's, right? No, I don't. All right. So, and we have the Eight of Cups in this reading. Something gets left behind here. It could be maybe your person is just living some type of dissatisfying life. That definitely could be. Yeah. The two of wands is, is uh, showing up here as the overall energy or the current, right? But this really is about challenges. This is about a choice to move forward. There could have been too many people here, but definitely uh, the five of wands talks about challenges. Uh, for some, it can talk about fighting and crossing this card here, uh, crossing that and challenging that is the sun and the 10 of swords. It looks like somebody has clarity here. They made a choice two of wands. And remember he has his hand on her elbow. Like let's go together, right? Here we have the sun in the challenge. This is like, I have major clarity that I want something to be over 10 of swords. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And that's what we have in the environment. We have an ending here. And this isn't your ending, Sagittarius. This, this person's, uh, you know, they could be, they could be kind of, there could be an apology here. Like, don't leave me out, please. I, I'm changing. Because we have the eight of wands here. And it can definitely talk about change and progress and moving forward. This is like, a very Aquarian type of card. I mean, I know it's a wand and it's a, it's a fire element, but this is definitely like, and this is like taking action for change and movement. Yeah. And he has his arrow, right? He has his bow and arrow pointed at somebody here. It's kind of an aggressive, I want change in a very aggressive way. Like it could be like, boom, right? Because these are wants, could be kind of like Mars energy, boom, right? Like Aries energy. I just want this, uh, I want this to happen uh, kind of maybe impulsively, but I don't think there's anything impulsive here though. It could be like unexpectedly or fast. It could, uh, the reason I don't believe anything is really um, like kind of, uh, you know, uh, not wealth. It's well thought out. It's what it is because it's not impulsive because we have the four of swords that sits in the past. This is major self-reflection. The wheel of fortune is reversed. This can be like, I really want to heal this with Sagittarius because you may be in the reverse here, Sagittarius, right? It can be that somebody chose to, it, it, you know, in this reading that somebody chose, uh, they chose somebody who was not their fate and destiny because that's really a big piece in this reading that somebody, that's the major piece here. Or, you know, that somebody, this person knows that you're fate and destiny, so why stay behind wherever that is? And maybe they are uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Here's the Knight of Pentacles in the root. This is why it's all happening is the Ace of Swords. So you're being chosen for a new beginning right here. And it's a very, it's a very clear decision because the sun sits next to the ace of swords. Yeah. Like I got my clarity and it could have been, could have happened like in a very red flag way for this person, because these, these, uh, toddlers here are carrying the red flag. Yeah. Like, look like, wow, like wake up. So the the mindset here is the hangman and the 
page of wands. This is like, I've been enlightened and I want a new path in my life, a new direction. Maybe they're Pisces. This can talk about a sacrifice. It sits over the eight of cups. Like I'm leaving something here, letting something go. And the 10 of swords sits twice in the reading. It sits in the environment, Sagittarius, and this person is not trying to end something. No, not with you. One of you guys ends something here, which is not entirely clear what that may be, right? So we have the change here. This two of swords with the eight of wands, like I said, this is like, I need change because this is fate and destiny. We have the fates. We have the wheel of fortune here. So we know that this is uh, this person, and this is the overall energy, the fates in the oracle spread. Yeah. So this is like, yeah, I need change. I want change. Uh, this is, it's like, I don't really have a choice here, two of swords, because fate is leading me, fate and destiny, yeah. And the concern, Sagittarius, is the concerning factor in this reading is about maybe a Piscean here. Again, the high priestess, more Pisces energy, could be Scorpio. Uh, but here we see the high priestess and the Ten of Pentacles as the concerning factor here. Uh, this can be like, I know I want a family with Sagittarius. Uh, and the Ten of Swords over here next to this Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this person is trusting their intuition about how they can create a family with you, I believe. And also about uh, like, you know, ending something because here's the Ten of Swords next to it. With the Four of Cups. And he's pouring the cup out in this deck. Like this is, I don't want this anymore. In the, over, in the environment, we see an ending, the Ten of Swords, and uh, maybe with honor, maybe somebody's en ending something here with a little bit of class, like, you know, we don't have to end this kind of like, uh, you know, like, I don't know, kind of, you know, killing each other. We don't have to do that. But uh, this Three of Pentacles is with it. This is like ending so something ends for something else to function or to work this out with them, the Three of Pentacles. To collaborate. Two of Swords shows up twice in the reading. Over here we have the Two of Swords, Three of Cups, Queen of Wands. This is like, I don't have any power over this. This is fate and destiny. Two of Swords, she, she gave these guys the swords. Three of Cups, Queen of Wands. Like, this is inevitable. I'm being called by, by you know, by fate to reconcile. It can also be that this person, Sagittarius, knows that the joy is with you. Three of Cups, Queen of Wands. They know that because there's something else that is unsatisfying or dissatisfying. I would, I would say it's unsatisfying with this illusion card in the reverse, which can talk about self-deception. The moon can talk about deception sometimes. Yes, it can. Things that are hidden things that are in the dark, illusions. The desire in this reading here is to pour this cup out and take action or to pour this cup out to be with you. This can mean to have the courage to pour this cup out. Something ends here next to the eight of cups, Sagittarius. Yeah, we're going to end this reading, Sagittarius, because this person's coming for you. I feel like they're a little afraid of you, though. Yeah, I feel like they probably are. Mm -hmm. But we're going to end this. Thank you so much, you guys. Get your reading. Get your psychic reading. Lots of fun. Uh, if you don't understand somebody, uh, it's really good to get one of those. <laughs> You'll have some clarity. You definitely will if you don't know them or if you don't trust them, right? Yeah, we don't trust everybody in the world. Uh, we try to see things with an open mind, though. We do and an open heart. Thank you so much for joining me. And please remember to like, share and subscribe.